Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a nice gentle practice, which is kind of nice in the morning, but it's also very nice at the end of your day to just have a nice relaxing practice. We're starting in our knees seated position. We can have our hands on top of our knees or inside of our lap, wherever you feel that they are more comfortable, where you can sit up nice and tall through your spine. At the same time, relax the shoulders, have the chin parallel to the floor, close the eyes and calmly relax your breath. Just for a little bit as we're starting, just arrive here onto your mat as you're getting ready for your practice. Just focus on slowing the breath down. If you work with Ujjayi breath, always feel free to utilize the Ujjayi breath, but keep it really gentle and soft. No need to make too much noise with the breath. Always feel that you can just be having just that gentle sound into your head. And maybe as you breathe, you feel the lower ribs slowly expand as you breathe in and slowly retract again as you breathe out. So it's not so much as the belly coming out as more as the rib expansion to the side as we're breathing. And then take a moment to notice maybe any sensations in the body. If it's the first practice you do today or if it's at the end of your day, maybe even moving. How does the body feel right now? For a moment, just bring the hands in front of the heart and Anjali Mudra bow your forehead to the fingertips. Just taking a moment here if we want to set any intention for a short practice together. And then we blink open our eyes. We come for a moment into our tabletop where we're just going to go through some cat and cow. So we're going to bring the knees underneath the hips, the wrists underneath the shoulders. If you keep the toes tucked or untucked, I leave that up to you. And we're moving through the spine from our tailbone tucking it up, hollowing the back, spreading the collarbones wide as we move all the way up to spread the back of the neck. As we exhale, we tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, push the floor away. Feel a nice protraction through the shoulders as your chin comes towards the chest as last. And then on your breath, keep moving in this way. So every time we inhale, you come to this cow pose. And every time we exhale, you come into that cat. Now you can make it as fast or slow as you prefer. So if you like to move a little bit faster through the back, then feel free to do so. If you want to move really nice and slow, then that's fine as well. I'm just doing a couple more rounds here. One more. And once we come to our cat, we hold the cat. So we push the floor away, we round gently through the spine, maybe increase the tension slowly. Maybe again, you start to bring that awareness to the tailbone, you tuck it slightly more under, maybe squeeze the buttocks. Maybe you squeeze the ribs a little bit more in, pushing through the hands, pushing the shoulders away. And then maybe tucking the chin in, rounding a little bit at the neck and then letting it go. All right, we're just going to take a couple circles. So here we move over our wrist. And again, here, if you still like to incorporate a little bit of those movements of the spine, the shoulders and the back, then feel free. Now we're just taking a couple of random nice movements here where we warm up a little bit our wrist as well. And then the next time we come to the top, if you've been moving one way, move the other. If you went clockwise, go counterclockwise.
And this is always something that is very nice to do and to maybe do it a little bit longer, always on your own accord, that's perfectly fine. Then we're coming back to the middle, we're going to tuck our toes and find our downward facing dog. Here in this first downward facing dog, we pedal the feet, maybe we move the hips a little bit. Or maybe you just find stillness wherever you are. Just bring that awareness of the sensations into the body. And then with a couple of steps, we're going to walk our feet all the way up to the top of the mat until we step between our hands. Now, if you cannot reach it all the way and you just need to take this little last step and step to the last part, just forward. And on the top, just maybe grab opposite elbows and just let yourself hang. Maybe sway a little bit left and right. And it's always a find also let the arms hang to bend as much as the knees as you need to. And relax the neck. Don't hold any tension in your face. As we slowly roll up further by by vertebra until we come all the way up to a standing position. We're going to do a couple rounds of Surya C. We're going to bring the hands in front of the heart, close the eyes. As we take a nice breath in and a gentle exhale. As we breathe in, we bring the arms up to the sky, lengthen. As we exhale, we forward fold all the way down. You're going to step back with our right leg, lower right knee down, open the heart. Step back, high plank, breath hold. On the exhale, knees, chest, chin, down to the floor. On your inhale, slide through cobra pose. On your exhale, downward facing dog. The next inhale, right foot steps up next to the right thumb, lower back, left knee down. The left foot follows to the top, exhale, forward fold on the top of your mat. Inhale as we rise all the way up. Exhale, release the arms alongside the body. Just take a breath in, bring the hands in front of the heart. And exhale. Next inhale, arms reach. And exhale, forward fold. Left leg steps back, inhale, open the heart forward, Anjane. Step back, high plank on your breath, hold. Knees, chest, chin on the exhale, lower down. Inhale, slide through, proper pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. On the inhale, left foot steps up to the top. Lower the right knee down to the floor. Right foot follows to the top, forward fold on the top of your mat. Inhale as you rise up, all the way, arms reach up, fine length. Maybe lift through the heart, maybe gentle back bend. Exhale, release the arms. Take a breath in, bring the hands in front of the heart. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach, fine length. And exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps back, lower the back knee down, open the heart. Breath hold as we step back. Knees, chest, chin on the exhale, lower down, Ishtanga Namaskar. Cobra pose on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps up to the top on the inhale, lower back knee down. Left foot follows, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, rise, arms reach, fine left. Exhale, relax the arms. Inhale, hands in front of the heart. Exhale, relax. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps back. Lower left knee down, open heart. Breath hold, step back, high plank. On your exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Slide through cobra pose, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps up to the top. Back foot goes down. Right foot follows, forward fold on the top of your mat. Inhale, rise. And exhale, relax the arms alongside the body. Breath in, bring the hands in front of the heart. Exhale, let go. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg steps back. Lower the knee down to the floor and bring the hands on top of the left knee. Now we're going to 
keep our body propped up above our hips and the position of our knee, foot and front foot stays the same as we press the hips forward and down. Now as we're going to inhale, we're going to tuck our tailbone under, press with our hands round our spine as we push back, feel more engagement on this back hip flexor. And then as you exhale, release the hips back down. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under, push away, round the spine. Exhale, letting go. Again, inhale, pushing away. Exhale, letting go. One more time, inhale, push. Keep it here for a little bit. Keep tucking tailbone under, squeeze the buttocks. Press that back hip forward. Pull that left hip back. And exhale, letting go. Maybe sink the hips now a little bit deeper. Maybe you find just a little bit more space. As we're going to release the right hand down to the floor, we're going to lift our back leg up and with our left hand, we're going to grab our back right foot. So we're going to pull it in. Option to open the front leg, maybe find a bit more space. Pressing through the right hand, lifting maybe the heart up towards the sky, finding a gentle twist. And just hold here as we press slowly the hips more forward and down. And keep breathing in and out through your nose. Know that you can always use a strap or something else to grab the back of your foot if you cannot reach it with your hand. And we slowly letting go of the back foot. And from here, both hands frame the front foot. We're going to take a nice half split. So we're going to move back, extend the front left leg. If you need to, you can always adjust the leg for it or move the knee a little bit backwards. If you have a split and you want to go there, always be my guest. Otherwise, just stay with us. Press the heel down, lift the toes up, lean forward with the heart, tuck the tailbone slightly under, and then lean more forward. Think more of your heart touching the front of the mat, then your forehead coming down onto the leg. And just breathe a couple of breaths nicely in and out through. Notice at the same time the sensations that you may feel inside of the body when doing these stretches. And slowly letting go. If you need to adjust the legs back, just walk the feet back in. And from here, we're going to step back high plank. And then again, Ashtanga Namaskar, lower knees, chest, chin down to the floor. Inhale, sliding through cover pose. Exhale, rolling back, downward facing down. And maybe notice a difference here in your right and left side. If you like to pedal the feet, feel free to pedal the feet a little bit here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side as we step the right foot up towards our right thumb. Lower the back left knee down. We're going to place the hands this time on top of the right knee. So again here, we're just going to let the hips sink forward and down. And then as we breathe in, we tuck the tailbone under, we push away, we round our spine, bring your chin towards your chest. And exhale, letting go. Inhale, round. Push away, push away, really tuck the back. Feel the back leg, the left leg pressing into that hip flexor. And relax. Two more times. Tuck the tailbone on the round. Exhale, letting go. That's when we hold just for a little bit. Push back. Round your spine. Tuck your chin in. Push. Breathe in and out. On your next exhale, letting go. Maybe feel if you can sink just a little bit deeper again on this side now. Finding a little bit of more active contract and relax in that back hip flexor. So maybe that helps to just open up the deepness of your seat here a little bit. Now we're going to bring the left hand down. We're going to do the same thing here. So again, we're going to press our hips forward. The front leg always can be adjusted and open more as we're going to lift our back foot, reach, grab, and maybe twist a little bit up. And if that doesn't go, you just want to look down. Just look down, find your variation that works. Wherever you get the most sensation that is for you 
a good place to be right now. And that can vary if you practice in the morning or in the evening. It can be a very different sensation. And breathe gently again in and out through the nose. And slowly let go. All right, we bring the foot back to the middle. We go to our half splits. So from here, just frame the front foot, adjust the legs as much as you need. And if you always need something comfortable underneath, then you always feel free to just take your blanket or anything that you need to cover the back knee if you feel a little bit of that pressure pain. Also, the front leg that is stretching is fine if the knee stays a little bit bent. If everything is fine, just find your space and just stretch nicely into that right hamstring and find maybe a bit more activity by pushing the heel down lifting the toes up maybe even pulling slightly back on that leg like you're trying to pull it back into its hip socket as your chest is coming forward And slowly coming back. All right. If you need to walk the feet back, walk the feet back. We take another time, our vinyasa. We're going to step back into our high plank. And again, Ashtanga Namaskar, lowering down, knees to chin, sliding through cobra pose, and downward facing dog. And then again, if here you want to pedal the feet a little bit, move the hips, always feel free to do so. And we're going to step both feet to the outside of our hands, take a second into our malasana, stepping into our yogi squat, just squatting down, maybe our elbows to the inside of the knees, hands in prayer position in front of us. And just feeling if you need to use your hands or place a block underneath the sitting bones, that's perfectly fine as well. So wherever you find more balance, just find that space that you can sit just for a little bit. And then if you need to use your hands, or you can just sit down onto the buttocks, bring the knees along with you, roll onto your back, squeeze the knees into the chest, and roll a little bit left and right. And from here, we're just going to keep the left knee into our chest, extend the right leg, pull the left knee in, we're just going to close with a little bit of a twist. So we're going to bring left knee over towards the right side, right hand on top of the left knee. And we're just going to twist over. And here, if you don't want to spread the arm out like Ellie's doing to fully open, you can also keep your hand on your side, maybe to the height of your ribs, and just feel the twist here. Your feet can be on top of the knee, can be onto the floor, wherever it feels best to you. breaths in and out through the nose and then rolling back onto our back squeeze the left knee in one more time and then we switch the sides bring the right knee towards the chest just squeeze it in and open the twist to the other side left hand on top of the right knee roll onto your side bring the right knee over maybe open through the arm or keep your hand on top of the ribs as long as you pull that upper chest back, keeping maybe the knee down onto the floor, just noticing the twist through the spine. And again, a couple breaths in and out through the nose. Slowly roll back. Pull the right knee in one more time, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then letting go, feet to the corners of the mat, arms alongside the body. Lay here in your Shavasana. 
If you need to have any less movements, please feel free to do so before completely settling down. And always take the time to have a little Shavasana after your practice, no matter how gentle it is or how short it is. Always give a little bit of time of integration for your practice. As you lay here, just letting the body be heavy, just noticing maybe any of the sensations that may go through the body after this practice. Just being aware of our own body. Calming down our breath. Two more gentle breaths. Maybe slowly finding some movement, fidgeting the fingers, the toes, maybe stretching yourself out, bringing feet together, hands overhead, feeling your whole body lengthening as you inhale. As you exhale, release. Maybe take a moment to roll to your favorite side using your hand as a pillow underneath the face. Take a little moment in your fetal position. And then we find ourselves back to the top of the mat, sitting in any position, maybe as you did before. So maybe you like to come back to sitting on the knees or cross-legged. I want to thank you for joining us today in this nice practice. I hope it was beneficial to you. If you have any other ideas or comments about our classes, please feel free to write us a comment, let us know, and uh, we will sure to try and accommodate you in another practice. If you're not yet, please guys subscribe and we hope to see you in the next class. Bye.